Four inmates on George's death row are asking to die to get it over with. One of them, Jack Potts, because of religious reasons. He prays most of the day, has made peace with God, and accepts Jesus Christ as his Savior. He doesn't say so in so many words, but he accepts responsibility for the two murders he committed. He's scheduled to die February 15th in a couple of days. Another killer, Billy Mitchell, is also said to be asking that the execution be carried out. I don't know why he wouldn't talk about it. Timothy West McCorkdale wants to end it, or at least I'm told he does. I've read McCorkdale's trial transcripts. He brutally tortured a 16-year-old girl, then killed her and mutilated her body. It would be difficult, if not impossible, to say anything nice about Timothy West McCorkdale. Then there's Roosevelt Green. Two Monroe County juries sentenced him to death. He and a man named Carzell Moore were convicted of teaming up in a brutal murder of a nursing student that they had allegedly abducted from a curb market. Moore did it. All of it. Roosevelt Green was never tried for robbery or kidnapping or rape and says he was not there when the girl was killed. But he was convicted anyway, twice. And now he wants to die because he's simply given up trying to prove that he wasn't there when the trigger was pulled. The sheriff of Monroe County told me, he said, I know you ain't killed nobody, but you gonna pay for it. They had shoes that they found in um, Carzell Moore's house. And they matched the footprint that was found at the scene of the crime. First, they tried Carzell Moore and said Carzell Moore had those shoes on. And at my trial, they said Roosevelt Green had the, the shoes on. And I had shoes that was, had heels on them. But where are they? Where are my evidence? Roosevelt Green believes he had good counsel and his attorney, Richard Milam of Jackson, says he did all he could for his client. In fact, he was shocked when that second jury turned in another death sentence. Green and Milam both told me to go through another trial in Monroe County would be useless. They believe even if they appealed and got it overturned again, it would end the same. And Roosevelt Green says he would rather die than live on death row. They are, what they are doing, they are taking two lives for one. Two black lives for one, and or one white, huh? and um, which is not justifiable. Period. Tomorrow we take a look at the man who stands at the top of Georgia's legal system, and hands out, or in many cases, reviews and agrees with death sentences. Supreme Court Justice John Nichols.